in LA. She uh rarely do it because she's really home based in uh Dallas. But um I was getting the word and stuff and um it was very, very, very intentional. It was, it was very beautiful. I, I like uh like the uh receiving the word. Oh yeah, my birthday was yesterday. So I'm twenty four, y'all. Um And the word was about uh front like being front line like you know like you pray you pray to God to be front line for real and then all that stuff basically the word was basically just saying a lot and so much I just can't even like all I can say is that I soaked it up like a sponge and y'all need to go tune in plus um praise Jesus. Press uh what else? It was fun. Like I was I was I loved it. it I felt good. I felt like I was I just went to you know how you um because I was really I didn't you know I didn't uh really celebrate my birthday that much. Um I woke up or received a lot of flowers, I really received a lot of gifts, but I ain't posted because it was like, you know, um I just wanted to take it in personally for myself then um the message was basically like um it's up to you for real to do everything for real like who you waiting for you can't be looking at anybody else or what they got going on because whatever you got show up for is meant for you to show up for because only you could do it god only sent you to do the job for you like you feel me so that was good and um yeah, it was so beautiful, y'all. Like, I really love church, and I really love Sarah Jakes. And I never in my life, um, okay, you know, I meet famous people all the time. Um, whatever, you hear me? I never in my life, like, be so happy to meet somebody and then don't know what to say to them. But love them so much. Like, like that's what happened to me. Like, when I uh, finally got to meet her and she prayed over me and stuff. I was like, oh my God, this, I'm not having a fangirl moment, but I'm just so proud of her. And it's just like her anointings and her spirit. It's just like God all around her. So when she held my hand and it was just when she held the baby, it was like all her blessings just went through, through the baby. It just, it was so beautiful, bro. If you ever have a birthday, go to church. Go to church on your birthday. You might really, it might be that service just for you because it's your mother and birthday. My birthday was yesterday, but it's not that I finally got to meet her. I could have been met her. It's just the fact that being in her presence and then not knowing like how much you love a person without even knowing them till you meet them. Cause you're like, this is so beautiful. Like it was so beautiful to meet her. It was so beautiful. Like, you know? I loved every bit of it. And it's so crazy because every time she speak, it's as if we all going through what she's saying. But we are. We're like in a different... It's like we on the same dimension with her while she's preaching. But we're in our own story. And it was like so beautiful to like look around while everybody receiving the word. They feel exactly how I feel. But not going through what I'm going through. They have their own different story. Oh, y'all all really like happy birthday. Thank you for celebrating me on my live right now. This is so cute. But I had so much fun, y'all. Like, church was really fun. And, then, like, um, you know, I've been going through a lot this week. Like, just, like, all that internet stuff. Like, with all these other mother like motherfuckers that don't like me just on the internet popping it. And then, like, I don't know, just having people pull up at my house unannounced and aggression uh, in an aggressive way that's dead like i didn't i didn't fuck with that like you know like i just been having one of those weeks um blue been on lock he's finally not on lockdown so when he called me while i was in church i was just happy i was just overfilled with joy like okay you're 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 okay you're not on the hold no more and you're fine you feel me so there's nothing to worry about and then plus i made it to 24 and not like that, but a lot of people died at 23, 22, 21, 19, out the womb. Like, I'm blessed to say I made it to 24, so thank you, Jesus, for real. And then, um, 
for everybody that's going through something right now. I just feel like if you got something, take it to God and just be like, hey God, I want to do this, but I want to make sure it's done right. So like a lot of times we wouldn't do a lot of things that we should do because we feel like it's not the right time. You just ask God to make the right opportunity for you to know it's the right time to do it. Because sometimes that could be the very most thing that's holding you back, like fear and shit. So I've been having this um, thing when I don't know if I should uh, drop my song or... It's too much going on, so I don't really know what... Um, So I'm just holding music and just sitting on it and just waiting for them. But, um, yeah, he all called me like, what you out cheating? How am I going to cheat, bro? Like, I got you in my face. I cut everybody off. Everybody that I used to talk to and fuck with. Like, you know, my little roster. They blocked. I haven't talked to them. I don't talk to them. You know what I'm saying? I don't talk to nobody. I'll be just waiting for my baby to the car. So I'm like, bro, I'm really holding it down for real. Like, I know it's hard to believe that. Trust me. We went through so much shit that you would think that this is the time when I'm shitting on you. I was already shitting on him when he was outside. So it was like, when he called me and let me know that he needed me. Already had my time, fair game, and share of shitting on him. So it was like, when he called me, like, my pussy better not be shaved. It's not shaved. Chill out. The fuck? It ain't shaved. I'm not fucking nobody. Chill out. Stop crying. Like, the fuck? I ain't really, I ain't outside. Y'all know, bro, I'll be at Rolling Loud right Y'all know where I'll be at. I'll be at Rolling Loud. I'll be... Doing my own little shows, I'll be dropping music. I'll just be doing shit. But right now, I'm just being like, you know, down. Like when somebody really needs you, like and not he really need me, I really need him. We, we cool, we cool. You feel me? Huh? I'm telling you, I don't really, um, like, I do what I want. Like, I don't, I'm not going to not do what I want. Like, if I want to hold down, hold you down and wait for you and not do not want other people, that's for real. That's really me saying I want to hold you down because I'm really going to hold you down. Like, I'm not going to, I'm not going to tell you and not do it. That's what I'm not going to do. And then, like, say if I do want to um, step out, no, I'm going to put the whole little relationship off. I'm not going to step out, have that shit going on. on the, like, who, do you know who I am? I got that, that good, that good whoopty woo down there. As soon as I let that shit le unleashed. Everybody and their mama gonna know who the fuck I'm fucking with. And then it's like, I don't like doing shit quiet. I'm not the type of bitch to be doing the shit on the love. I'm be really out loud about it. Like. Or like, you know, at least funny with it. Like. Huh? What y'all say? But um, I'm just happy he's safe. I'm happy church ended. I just had so much fun in church, though. Know? Like, church be so much fun. Even when, like, and then, like, say if it's on days like this, like, I feel so good going to church on the Friday because, you know, anybody else, they be going to a club, nigga house. And y'all keep saying what I could be doing. I'm telling you, I'm doing what I want to do right now. Like, I'm nothing is not holding me back from being the best me. Like, when Blue start holding me back and I start getting in more trouble and y'all start seeing me online going back and forth with bitches or, you feel me? Like, 
when you start seeing me not being me, then start, Krishan, you know, this ain't really, like, no. I'm not finna be playing with blue like a little girl. Like, I'm a grown-ass woman. My son is my son. So, yeah, like, shit is different. I ain't letting none of that shit slide or shit I used to be on, the shit I used to cry about, the shit I used to get drunk about, I don't do none of that. Like, what? None of that. I don't do none of that. I don't do none of that. And vice versa. Like, he's not finna put up with shit either. So it's like, okay, now that, yeah, what? But I'm just so happy that he's okay. Like, it been fucking 15 days without talking to this nigga because he's on a hold. And I know that suck for him because it's like, damn, you know? No, y'all just got me fucked up for real. And I'm about to take the lashes off. Where my shades at? I think I lost my shades, y'all. I wanted to cry because when I realized that, I'm like, did I really just lose my shades? They're the only ones that's been keeping me together. You know, I haven't been getting my lashes or nothing, though, because I've just been taking a break. Like, just being able to um, move around how I want to move around. Move around how I want to move around. Be comfortable. And then this is the most time I've ever been at peace. Like, not like that, but I love blue to death, but... Since he been in jail, nigga, I ain't, there's no toxic shit going on. He's able to think clear, what he eat, he say things clear. I can understand him. We get along. Nigga, I just been okay. You hear me? None of no drama shit. Like, the only drama shit I can't really get with is that, that little shit that happened at the house with the father. Like, who is some people that came? Like, I'm still asking myself, like, who is some people? Like, imagine somebody, imagine somebody out front of your house with a gun, waiting for somebody to come outside, so you can run in. Just imagine somebody, like, why, like, why you picking up your kid, putting them into bed, there's somebody outside with a mask and a gun. Like, that shit is, like, diabolical. Like, it's like, at this point, y'all... Stop doing it, cause like um you mess around and go in the wrong house and think that it was sweet. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm telling you, like that shit is not cool. And then it's like, why do you want to take something that's not yours? Like this world is getting real thin. Like like what's going on? Like people dying, people getting robbed. People. It's just like it's so much evil. It's like it's no point. It's no more. It's no point in being um. I don't think it's jail talk. I think it's the fact that sometimes when you have time to sit. In, sit by yourself and then like analyze your thoughts like time like actual forced time to like be off your phone be off the social media be off the the hurt feelings like when you have like that legit rawness like to center you like for example like when you fast right you get rid of everything like you stop smoking you stop um eating certain carbs so you probably just intake bread you don't eat like fancy you just eat stuff that whatever or you don't eat at all long story short it's the fact that you get stripped away you take things away you sacrifice um what's not so healthy for what's healthy so i feel like not like that but jail that's why you see a lot of people go in jail and come out they skinny they want to work out eat right because it's kind of it kind of like sometimes jail for people put you in a perspective to like i don't know just be a better person or be a better you so like um 
I don't know. It's just one time I uh, left jail before. When I, I did jail for like 12 days straight. I thought, uh, you know, that whole boy case in Oklahoma or whatever. Um, I was, I fasted. Like, I didn't eat. Um, so when I came out of jail, right, like when I fasted and prayed and stuff like that, you know, you, you don't smoke every day. Like, I, so, but it was just crazy because right before I went in there, I was smoking so crazy. But then when, like, me being off of, like, smoking and having any, like, the outlet to, like, put my heart feelings into the wrong areas, like, it was just weird, like, how when all that was taken away, and I was, like, strictly had to stick on this because I am in jail, um, something fell off of me, like, from my body that my, like, like, you don't need to smoke for real, so now, like, when I hit a blunt or whatever, I just be smoking, but I don't smoke as much, like, I used to go through zips a day, I used to smoke a zip a day, like, that's how bad it was, like, I'll wake up three blunt. If I'm talking blunt, if I wake up, blunt, like, it's just blunt after blunt. Now, I barely even get to, like, get around to it because it'd be so annoying to hit it. Like, it's too much smoke. And then I don't, and that's not, and then, like, say, if um, I'm late to buy weed, like, for a day or two to smoke, I'll go, like, those days without smoking for real. And it, it won't bother me. So I'll be feeling like, no, jail kind of, like, discipline a person, like, intellectually spiritually it, it's like a little thing that happens to i don't know that's from my experience like when i went to jail um it forced me to let a lot of things go so when i came out of jail i was for real remember when i came out of jail i was less likely like well i feel like my baby changed me too like when i had my child like one time like usually um Oh, you said it does, right? Y'all agree with me, right? Because this eyelash coming off, but I'm trying my hardest to keep it on. I was crying. What happened? Yeah, the Holy Spirit do changes you too. But it's like you gotta like strengthen your spirit. Like you know how like you hungry, you feeding your flesh. Like you feeding your flesh food. Like you really your spirit, your spirit get hungry too. So you guys feed your spirit, and what you feed your spirit, you just the word, meditating. Um, me, what I do is uh, that's why you don't really see me on Instagram, bro. Cause I really like took a, a real break from just like being on my phone and period, being online. Like, I used to um, post every second of the day, like, if I felt like it, like, just to chat with my followers, like, oh, I'm up here doing this, uh, I'm, over, I'm over here doing that, you know what I'm saying? But now I'm really slow to do any of that, like, um, not because I don't want y'all to know what I'm doing, but only because, um, I don't know, it's, it's just like, the more you say, the more they be, like, anticipating, like, if you get give them too much like sometimes you can give them but you can't do it all the time like i used to vent to y'all a lot you feel me but now that i don't know more it's just it's just play a good it's just play play a nice little role yeah i don't care about the views dropping the views dropping all the time like every time i talk about jesus but if i'm not talking about drama or if i'm not talking about um something they always leave the chat. That's cute. I'm here for the people that want to just talk to my dumb ass. Because I just came from church and church was so good. And the word was so good. Now I'm just ready to drop music. I'm ready to push on. Yeah. I'm telling you, I just want to do it right. I don't really want to do it fast. Like, and it's not like I'm waiting on somebody or waiting on something. It's like... I'm telling you, it's like you'll be in your head telling you like, all right, but you got to do this. You got to do that. No, you just have to act and do and just go. You feel me? Not act, do, and I don't know. Like, I can't explain it because I be feeling like. Do you mind plugging this up for me, sir? Huh? Do you have this cord? Well, what's that? 
Is that a charger or the Yeah, box? it's it's like a little um cord that you it's my charger. Oh charger is okay. The music but, only uh like uh, Bluetooth. Oh okay, yeah. But I'm driving to that one. But I'll connect this one for you. Okay, that's cool. Yeah. You got the little outlet to connect it or you need help? Uh you know what? It's bad to help me. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, please. I'm driving. Well, matter of fact, I can just use this. It's little iPad charger. Oh, yeah? Another, yeah. We, it's the same uh, cord. Okay. Uh, what, what do we do with it? Is this plugged up? Hold on. Uh, no. Oh, yeah, it's charged. It's cool. Is, is that okay? Yeah, that's good. You good. So, don't yeah, you, yeah, you don't need it. Thank okay. you. Okay. Sorry about that. No, but I've been like, um, on some drama free shit, but, um, I've been focused for real. Like, I've been spending so much time in the studio, I got time to actually, like, think about what I want to say. Like, I got this one song, right? It's about, okay, so, those days that Blue spent so forever in the hole, it, it was weird. Like, for me, when I went to the studio, I was able to talk to myself as if I'm on the phone with him, like, I miss you, like... But I was able to put it into a song, so it's like, it's such a vibe, bro. It's like, I like being inspired on the way of, like, when I'm going through stuff, I can get my ideas. You can't serve two masters. What are you talking about? I don't have a master. I just serve God, bro. Yes, I fuck with Blueface. Get the fuck over it. All you, all this hate train off of me fucking with a nigga is kind of like laid out. You feel me? I don't care what the fuck you, you doing and who you fucking. I really don't give a fuck. I know your backyard don't look like mine. What would Jesus say about that? I think what Jesus say about my relationship is to clean it up and marry him if i'm gonna be serious like i can't be like i need a man of god like i can't be doing this in like in between relationship and we wait to marry each other but we have a sex without marriage like yeah like what would jesus say to this um take it slower this time and i'm glad that he not like that but we got time to take it slow all we do is just talk get to know each other and then like we're building up this foundation on trust so it's like I don't know what Jesus would say about what's going on. Because I don't see me doing nothing wrong. We ain't having sex. All we is is just getting getting along and getting a better perspective. He not a man of God, though. Bitch, you don't know him. That's the thing about it. He do. He love God. Okay, it's things that he need to work on. It's being whoever he is, a better person. But everybody has that. You feel me? I'm not hating and I'm praying for looking up to her. Da, 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 da. No, the girls that look up to me, they don't look up to me because of my relationship. I feel like bitches look up to me because of how authentic and how like I don't give a fuck. Like I'm very transparent. And if I am gonna be a buck about a situation, let's talk about it. Nobody's scared or embarrassed to be like, alright, this is what's going on. Yeah, you, I feel like, I mean, so you saying you got, I've been got delivered though. Like, when I was pregnant, I was getting delivered. When I, when I left and did it on my own, got my own. Own shit and start demanding.